If you guys are looking for a budget-style, American-made Gibson Les Paul, this guitar could be it for you. Now guys, this guitar is a culmination of many a month of trading guitars up and down across the Nashville area. Finally, I have an American-made guitar. Last time I had a Gretsch Electromatic in white, and I sold that guitar for 850 bucks cash, and I turned around and I bought this gorgeous Gibson Les Paul Tribute in Satin Cherry Sunburst. All right, so why don't we open up this guitar? So here's the guitar. First off, just to be completely frank with you guys, this case is an incredible case. I mean, it said soft leather um, on the website, but this case is supremely durable. This is very well padded, very well reinforced, um, and it looks really great too. You can kind of see on the back here, we have an adjustable back strap, so in case you were left shouldered or right shouldered carrying this thing, it'd be a simple thing of just switching it over to the other side of the switch here. Um, and of course we have the Gibson logo on the front and really classy case, really do like it. Now if I open up the front flap here um, of this case, you can obviously see a Gibson um, warranty card. These are coming with most of the new Gibsons nowadays. They're really trying to crack down on counterfeits and this is kind of helping with the whole new Gibson rebranding thing. Got a little bit of the Gibson story right here as you can probably see. Um, but that's the first thing they came in with. And then of course we have, looks like an inspection date. So looks like they have a Gibson We Sweat the Details and it has, um, essentially it has the serial number, who was modeled by, um, who built the guitar, who checked the guitar, all that jazz right here. Um, and as you can see, 61820. So a little bit uh, less than a year old, this guitar. And also came with a shop picture. So if you like shop pictures, it gives you guys an idea of what they were doing in the shop with this guitar. I'm sorry if it's out of focus, but that's kind of what came in the came in the case. And then we have, of course, um, a Gibson bag with just some tools. We've got a microfiber cloth and a Gibson owner's manual, as well as a truss rod adjustment hex, a screwdriver, and a saddle adjustment hex. So. Pretty cool, giving you everything you need to get this guitar up and running. Um, and it did come set up from the shop, I believe, but because I'm not the first owner, I can't expect it to be set up. I know that there are nines on here to begin with, but why don't we open up the guitar and see what's inside, shall we? I love the sound of guitar zippers. All right, oh man. Very, very nice. Wow. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A Gibson Les Paul tribute in that satin cherry sunburst. Man, that guitar looks incredible. Now first things first, let me just talk about the inside of this case, holy crap. This case is obviously um, plush. Um, it's got this red velvet plush and it's got a headstock support right here in the middle of the case here. Um, this guitar obviously looks incredible. No expense paid for this entry level guitar from Gibson, America. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed with what I've got over here. Not every day you get a really great Gibson case along with a great guitar like this. And uh, why don't we just go over some of this guitar and uh, get you guys an idea of what it sounds like. So this is the Gibson Les Paul Tribute from Gibson. Um, what I really like about this guitar is that this guitar looks like it's built for quality, man. Like this guitar feels really, really great underneath your fingers. These frets are perfectly smooth. We have 22 medium jumbo frets. We have a 490R to 490T um, PAF style humbucking pickup. It's got the Nashville Tunematic Bridge, as well as a three-way selector. Now this selection plate, this treble plate, didn't actually come stock with the guitar. I put one on myself after the fact um, to give it a more traditional Les Paul feel. But as you can see, you know, we have some Gibson Deluxe tuners on the back here. They look really great, made in the USA, stamped on the headstock. And of course, it's got a rosewood fingerboard. We've got a maple neck and it's got a mahogany back and sides guitar with the maple top. Traditional Les Paul tone woods 
and a really great finish. You know, I wouldn't say I'm like definitely a fan of traditional maple style finishes, but this satin nitrocellulose is so smooth to the touch. And I love the feel of satin on my hands. It makes the guitar sound and feel to me a lot sweeter than traditional polyurethane. So I'm really excited to try out this guitar and give me an idea of what these tones sound like. <laughs> So this guitar sounds great. For an early on-ramp to the American Les Paul series, this guitar can't be beat, honestly. It has every tone wood you could desire, an incredible feel, incredible humbucking pickups. If you guys are looking for an entryway into the Gibson America style Les Paul lineup, this guitar is the one for you. This guitar is great. You could probably find it for about a thousand bucks on the used market. I highly recommend anybody who wants to get a Les Paul in the American style for the first time, go for this one. It sounds great. Guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. If you would like to watch more videos about guitars I reviewed, look down in the description below of a bunch of guitars I've done over the course of the past year and a half. You're not gonna to wanna to miss a single episode. And of course, hit me up at Instagram and iGuitar. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, and we'll see you later.